Sup guys, it's Alex here, and we are keeping it in the East region here for our next game. And two episodes ago, we had Florida State versus UIC. Last episode, we had Penn State versus UCLA. And if you hadn't checked that one out, that one was just a complete murder. It's pretty funny to watch. It's pretty sad if you're a UCLA fan watching that. I mean, I had UCLA winning in my bracket, but I got that wrong. But up next, we have West Virginia versus Utah State. I think I have West Virginia winning this one in my actual bracket itself. Let's go ahead and get into this game. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA tournament. Today's game is between the Utah State Aggies and the West Virginia Mountaineers. And there is the starting lineup for each team. The starting five is not low. And just before things get underway, let's look at what each of these teams is going to be paying extra attention to. Utah State gets the ball to start the first half. Let's see what they can do on offense. And they get a basket. Sensational dribble penetration, Bill. Yes, he put the ball to the floor with conviction and drove it home. The Mountaineers and they're in their motion offense working with four around one. Well, if you have a big guy that can find people, it really puts a lot of pressure on the team. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson. And joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Raptor. Tump it inside. Shots up. See, reacting. How alert, Gus. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. They work it around the perimeter. Fire. Off the mark. Transition. West Virginia's out here looking like UCLA from last game. Look at Bob Huggins over there. And they're already taking him at all, just over a minute into the game for that foul. And they were subbing out B. Frank, too. I think his name was like Brian Frank. Utah State out to a 4 0 lead already. They may have him in some trouble here, Rapper. He's trapped us. Wanger receives the pass. He checked time for long range. Deep three by West Virginia does not fall. The West Virginia gets the block, pushing the ball up the floor. Looking for a good shot. In the lane. Squared up on the catch. Oh, they're getting hyped. West Virginia getting points on the board. Ooh, okay, the putback dunk. By Utah State, that tall guy in the center. Oh, okay, the spin move, the swim move. By number 21 for West Virginia. He puts up the tray with no luck. 
Man, those big guys for Utah State are causing issues. What are you doing? Give that guy a manual. What was he thinking? And then West Virginia fouls him to Utah State. I mean, I had West Virginia in my Final Four. This is not looking good for me. Kind of a weird shot there, but they get the offensive board and put it back in. West Virginia still hanging tough. And they get it to go. West Virginia making a comeback. Will they be able to tie it up before halftime? Doesn't look like it. Utah State making a big shot there to extend their lead. Fade away at the buzzer does not go in. Utah State taking a 14 to 8 lead into the break. Stay tuned for the road to the final four. That is a huge surprise in my opinion. I really need West Virginia to make a run here in the second half. Or else I already have one of my final four teams out. Not looking good. West Virginia. I'm finding myself rooting for West Virginia now. I need my bracket to stay at least somewhat decent. I already have two X's on there, two red marks in Seton Hall and UCLA. Utah State with a huge block there. And draw on the foul.
And they missed the second. Five-point game with four minutes to go. Can West Virginia make a comeback? Good shot. They've already outscored the Penn State UCLA game with three and 45 seconds to go. This has been a great game to watch, actually. West Virginia just hasn't been to the line. Wow, I think that's our first three of the tournament. I may be mistaken on that, but Utah State making the long-range tray six-point game now. Oh, West Virginia does not respond. Wow, eight-point game now. Utah State opening it up 20-12. to 12. This is why I haven't been picking West Virginia in my bracketologies. This, for this reason exactly, and then the one time that I put them in the Final Four, they get out first round. Uh-oh, they called something here. It looks like it may have been the offensive foul on Utah State, the illegal screen. Oh, no. They called a foul on West Virginia? Okay. I don't know what that was. That was some hero ball right there. If I was his teammates, I'd take him out to the parking lot and beat him up after that shot. Foul on West Virginia. It's looking like this one is over, and my first Final Four team will fall in the first round. Uh-oh, but they missed the free throw, though. He misses the second, too. West Virginia, as you can see, hasn't scored in two minutes. Okay. West Virginia, what are you doing? Yep, that's the game right there. We are going to witness our second upset of the tournament so far. Two upsets in six games. That's actually pretty good for an NCAA Basketball 10 simulation. And they are intentionally fouling, so I'll pick it up once we move to the free throw line. All right, here we go. This one should put them to the line for the one. Oh, they shoot a three. Oh. They said, you aren't fouling us. We are going to take a three in your face and take that 11-point lead. Wow. Let's see how West Virginia just responds to that disrespect. 10-2 to run for Utah State. I mean, I guess I will, I will eat my words with West Virginia. They got absolutely destroyed in this game for three. I mean, they made a three to respond, but it's not going to matter too much here. They're going to the line. 25 to 17. I mean, this was actually a pretty good game. One of the best games and high scoring games of the tournament so far. But they are subbing out. They know it's almost over.
So they're subbing everybody back in. I don't know what the heck they're doing right now. But it's a 10-point game. Yeah, this one's over. They're just intentionally fouling at this point. Utah State pulling off the upset here. 10 over 7. I had West Virginia in my Final Four. I am looking like a complete idiot right now. <laughs> but he misses the free throw. Will West Virginia be able to get like a 3 or something here to at least make it a little bit respectable? Taking forever to do whatever they're going to decide. Pulling up for 3. Yeah, it's over. West Virginia's not fouling. We are witnessing a huge upset, or I wouldn't say huge upset, but I mean, I had West Virginia in the Final Four, so for me, this was a huge upset. Utah State is walking out of here with the 27 to 17 victory. 10 over seven. They are moving on to the second round to face Florida State. Jamal Stewart getting player of the game for West Virginia and Derek Joseph for Utah State. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for now. Tune in for more college basketball action on CBS Sports, brought to you by EA Sports. For Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Utah State moving on to face Florida State for the right in the Sweet 16. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.